Alright guys, today I'm going to show you how to put these Pro Sport gauges on oil pressure and boost gauge. So, stay tuned. Alright, so to do this on a A4B7, on the, for the 2.0 you're going to need this adapter. I'm gonna take it out of. This will replace a banjo bolt on your oil feed line. I'll show you where that is because it's not the one directly on the turbo, it's the one on the bottom. And you need this fitting, not sure why, I'll find out why, the 90 degree. And then your two new crush washers. And then this comes with the with the gauges, so I'll show you guys how to put all this on. Alright, so you're going to come around the passenger side. And there's your banjo bolt right here, so here's your snub mount oil pan. The banjo bolt is right here for the oil feed line, so we'll take this one off. And I think it's a 12 triple square, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's a 12 triple square, so I'll go ahead and take that off. Alright, and if you're doing this and you have oil in the car, it's going to spill, so be careful with that. Alright guys, so I got the the bolt out. So I'm about to just put the new bolt right in there back and I'll show you guys how to put the fitting. So once you got the banjo bolt in there, you're gonna make sure you put your washer on one side and on the other and thread it in by hand before you go ahead and try to torque it. So you're gonna torque it to 22 pounds. So I'll go ahead and torque it real quick. Okay guys, so it's a 19 mil. So it's kind of sketchy at yeah, 22, it feels too loose. So I'm just gonna do it with the socket real quick. Honestly, that's pretty tight. So, so 22 and then just make sure it's tight with your with your ratchet by hand. And then this fitting right here, it's supposed to be a 90 degree angle. I don't know why, honestly. So this is what's gonna connect to your boost gauge, like the, the I don't know what it's called, I'll show you guys right now, but the boost gauge connects to this at the end. And then like, this should go right here, but, I don't know, like, to me, to me, I don't know, I don't wanna use this fitting. I don't know what it's for, so I'm gonna just fucking, I kind of just want to put this on right here because like, I'm trying to run my wire up towards the, towards the intake. So my plan is to get the wires and run them through by the, where this, the stock intake pipe is, run them up through here, follow the frame, and I'm trying to run them in here and inside of the car somehow. That's why I'm not going to use the fitting because with the fitting, it's just to add a 90 degree angle to this. And I'm trying to run my wire straight this way and up that way. So I'm going to just leave it like that. So I'm going to just go ahead and tighten this with the socket. After this, you just do all the wiring part. And I'll show you how I'm going to do mine. All right, guys. So I got the... When you get your cable hooked up to your little sensor. So up this rail up this way i'm gonna go into here i zip tied it to the stock intake pipe so it wouldn't like move around the i didn't i don't want it to get around like any heat i went up this the frame rail so we'll see so i came up the frame rail went put it through that little clip thing and then i came up by the map sensor wires and i put it inside through that I think this is the AC thing. So I like took, I put it in through the little rubber. I took the battery over here, turn it through here, down through my fuse box, my AC, down through my AC box, and then it goes down. And I put this thing down on this, and then I cut the wire inside through here. And to get my power, I'm using the fuse. And the ground, I grinded it down right here on this bolt. 
and then I just put my ground wires there. So I'm about to connect the boost gauge. I got the oil pressure one on. So this is what it looks like. So check it out. Right now it's reading zero, my car's off. They give you some 3M tape so you can like put these in here so they don't move anymore. But there you go, your pod will go in the vent right there. So once you have all your grounds connected, the boost is going to read obviously not accurate, so you got to adjust it, I'll show you how. So you're going to use the little tool they sent you. The left one is for the brightness, so you go left, it goes dark, let's turn it up all the way though. And then to calibrate it is the right one, so we'll do the same until it goes to zero. Like I said, I don't know if that's how you're supposed to use the 3M tape. I just figured, okay. So again, this is how I used it. I put it on there, center your gauge, and shove that motherfucker in there. You put the 3M, you just, I just pulled the tab, pushed it another way, and we're good. So once you have your bolts tight, we're gonna go ahead and mount it on. That's how it looks guys. So, you can choose your sides, but I chose my boost on the left and the oil pressure on the right. So I'll turn on my car and I'll see how they look. So now for your boost line, this is like, I guess, I think this is what makes it read. So you're gonna connect your line to here and I'm gonna feed mine through this hole back here and pass my lines to the same spot the wires came from and we'll go ahead and connect it it shows you right here in the instructions this is a little sender we'll put a little line to this piece right here and then we'll put it to the T fitting no we don't need I don't need that T fitting I know I don't so I got the line to the sender so now let's just feed it through the car and I'll show you where I'm gonna tap it to all right guys so like I said I ran it through the inside came it out through my ECU box and I ran it down through here and I have this boost tap from 034 so I just tapped it into that so let's start the car and see what it reads let's see so oh, put shit. Man. <laughs> oh shit. Why? <laughs> I right. uh, pressure. Oh, yeah. Alright guys, so that was a Pro Sport boost gauge install. So I just run down through it again. From my boost tap, I got to the little filter they give you. And then I ran it down the ECU box. You have to take down these panels. Mine are up already though. And you feed all the wires through the inside out. You connect your power to the fuses, your ground where I showed you. And this is how they look. Let me show you the final look. So, I'll just start up the car real quick. So that's how they start up. If you guys want to get an oil pressure gauge and a boost gauge, just like that, go ahead and get them from Pro Sport. So yeah, it's a pretty easy install. So let me know what you guys think about it. <laughs>